Hi there fellow travelers around the world, welcome to Fast Moon Media. This is Vinny and welcome back to Fast Moon Media. Here are some details of my biography so you'll get to know me. The 5 things that I can't live without, my bike, running shoes, vitamins, mobile phone and DSLR. I really like listening to jazz and classical music, early music like Renaissance and Baroque. I really like traveling a lot, Asia has always been my favorite destination. I like reading history, ethnography, and language books. I watch movies just to have a leisure since I spend most of my time outdoor. I'm also attracted with Southeast Asian food. Amazing food with special mention of Bunjal Vietnam, Curry Ayam of Malaysia, and Khao Soi of Thailand. I have been to many accommodations like hostels, hotels, BNB, and homestays as guests. I really like backpacking because I tend to move easily with this style of traveling. Back. So we are heading to Chan Royal Palace. We are just walking in this very random area and to our right side it looks like an abandoned uh, stupa. It, it reminded me of the one in Ayutthaya. About 550 meters away from where we are right now. We are going to the palace before we go and visit to check out this temple. Later we will drive by but we will head first to the first destination. Media. We just entered this historical center and we had a couple, short an intro of the history of Vitsandalo. Very interesting from one of the local um, Italian story and the narratives of the locals living here, including the history of the royal family and kingdoms in the ancient um, Thailand. I'm going to walk around and show you a bit of the some historical art artifacts. The Chan Palace History Center is located at Nine Wang Sub District of Pitsanaluk Province and is located south of the palace. This project is part of the Pitsanaluk government plan in order to pay homage to King Narusuan and ultimately promote cultural studies and tourism through showcasing the narratives of Pitsanalu. The center exhibits some historical artifacts and story of Pitsanalu during the past 900 years, starting from the origin of the Songkwe city. Just behind me are the important um, temples and major temples here, um, including the uh, temples in one of the ancient um, city in Thailand called the Sukhothai. Here are pictures of the important artifacts here in this beautiful historical center. Got the emblem of the Buddha behind me on my left. What Sukkot? This is the miniature version of the Wat Sukkot. Beautiful. So it says here, predates the times of King Narasimha. So, Wat Sukkot 
existed during the time of King Narusuan. I believe these are the remains of the beautiful. Okay, let's head over there. Oh, these are the miniature emblems of the Wat Oto. We are now in the Wat Bihanto. This is the pavilion sala. Now, here are some of the artifacts that I was talking about. Up here. This is an example of the ceramic kettle, an ancient ceramic kettle. Another Chinese ceramic during the, the Ming Dynasty. Kapun's water pot over here. Another Chinese broken Chinese ceramic from Ming Dynasty. This is the miniature of the entire Chan um, Palace complex. Look at that, it's a huge complex. Beautiful. You see that on the outside. These are the royal lands. Look at that. See that? That's the royal lands over there. Check that out. Beautiful piece of artifact. And this is the royal gun firing across the city river. This is what they use. And just beside me, I believe this is the replica version behind me of King Naraswan. So that's it for this um, historical center. Tons of historical information is very rich in culture. So that's it for this historical uh, building and uh, the museum. Now I'm heading to the next destination. It's just within the complex. And let's try to discover what's in that uh, building as well. So let's go. Join me. And I'm just going to show you a bit of where I am right now. Look at this beautiful traditional Thai architecture. See, we are passing underneath the house. Look at the tiles, very colorful. Beautiful. Okay, so let's do this. Let's hit this just in a couple of minutes so we can be in our next destination. Let's go. I think this is a sacred place. Offerings are being put here. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna show you a bit so you can have a glimpse of what I'm talking about. <sighs> Look at that. So let me just put my back, it's kind of heavy right now. There are only certain areas that you cannot wear your shoes and you have to remove your shoes. So let's go check this out. Okay, let me put my shoes first. Ah. I might as well bring my bag. Quick shot on this. Bye. 
just behind the museum, you can also visit and pay respect to the small sanctuary of prayer around this Chan royal palace to give honor to the King Narizwan who ruled the Ayutthaya kingdom from 1590 until 1605. Welcome back, Fast Number Media. So, just finished uh, visiting that beautiful um, sanctuary where they offer the prayers. Now, I'm heading to this beautiful and ancient Buddha. Really big Buddha. I can see it from here. And this one reminds me of the one in Ayutthaya. But the remains, or the remnants of these buildings, it looks also very similar to the one in Bagan in Germany. So let's check this out. Beautiful piece of art, pieces of artifacts. And how much more if you discover the entire Thailand. A lot of beautiful things that you will really learn from their um, history and their culture. So let's check this out on my right side. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that. I am right at the center of this beautiful complex. Check that out. Right just behind me. So let's go check out this beautiful Buddha. I can go further because uh, there are people praying, offering the prayers. So I have to be quiet again. So let's check this out. Right here. Did you see that in the background? Behind me. <laughs> Check that out. you know that Wat Wihantong was built in the 15th century when Ayutthaya reigned over this part of Thailand? The highlight of Wat Wihantong are the remnants of the prayer hall where you will find a large standing right at the very end of the hall. The Buddha structure has been renovated but still kept from its original form dated back from the 15th century. video we're heading to our next destination that was really beautiful that was actually the Sri Sukha temple so now we're heading to our next destination another another beautiful temple here inside this beautiful complex it's kind of hot today same weather yesterday let's check this out it's just me I'm gonna sit here, but I'm gonna show you a bit. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Buddhas. It's just behind me. Just behind the museum, you can also visit and pay respect to the small sanctuary of prayer around this Chan Royal Palace 
give honor to the king Narizwan who ruled the Ayutthaya kingdom from 1590 until 1605. I'm gonna give you a quick tour. The driver didn't suggest to actually visit this one's kind of dry. Um, so, but we <laughs> we insisted in, in in a way, and so she drove us all the way here and yeah, figure out that it's really a bit dry. So I'm gonna show you in a bit, so you can see the dried water lilies behind me over there. So probably it's not the season. And the driver also told us that they're currently renovating this spot. Yeah, it doesn't look so good at the at the moment because probably it's also in the uh, pandemic season so um, yeah not yet ready but we just figure out and saw it on the uh, side so we decided to come it's about five kilometers away from where we were um, earlier so in the meantime i'm going to show you a bit it looks really nice even if there are no water leaves uh, blooming during the season but i'm gonna show you all the way over there so that one Giant water lilies, okay. Let's walk away. Welcome to Giant Victoria oh, Water there. Lilies in Pizzanalu. These incredible water lilies are strong enough for a man to stand on. The giant water lilies are grown at an ornamental plant in Pizzanalu, Northern Thailand. These water lilies are strong enough to bear a weight of 100 kilograms and stretch up to 2 meters in diameter over the surface of the water. The lilies named after Queen Victoria are native to South America and found in the Amazon Basin. With Thailand's tropical temperature, these water lilies are able to thrive, achieving super strength stems. Welcome to Victoria Giant Water Lilies. They are currently um, planting, uh, putting new water lilies for the incoming um, season. It's still, it looks good. Still, look, it looks good. So basically, this we're quite satisfied. For at least we get to check out this beautiful spot. So, tons of buffaloes. Okay, let's go. Okay, so basically that's it for this uh, second destination. So. Look at that, but they're currently still building the foundation. Um, we can still see also uh, some scaffolding surrounding the entire uh, temple. I'm gonna show you also this huge Buddha just behind me. Look at that. 
Golden Buddha. Very big temple. Surprisingly, this is one of the biggest temples that I've seen here in Pits 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 Pitsanalok. Yeah, I'm having a hard time pronouncing the word Pitsanalok. So as you can see, it's still filled up with scaffoldings. Okay, here we go. So you can see it. See it. You see that? Very ornate golden temple here in Pitsanalo. So obviously it's way different when we give you a far perspective because you get to see the entirety of the temple. But since I'm quite close now, you only have a very limited perspective. So I have to go around so you can see it. Okay, let me move back again so you can see the entire uh, temple. Okay, here we go. I'm just actually beside this Buddha, so as you can see. Look at that. Did you see that? Beautiful. Now let's check out the other side so we can see the side view of this beautiful temple. The driver, grab driver told us the name. It's called Wat Chan Tawan Tok. <laughs> it's pretty hard to pronounce. I hope I got it right. So this is how it looks like on, your, on my left side. Check this out. Ooh, look at that. Really ornate. I don't know how long it will take them to finish or complete the entire temple. But it looks they're almost almost halfway, I would say. Beautiful. Let's move closer we can see look at that check it out heading to our last destination is the Wat Chantawan Tok this temple is beautifully crafted with ornate golden Buddhist design from the complex fences to the main temples. According to some historical details, this temple was the site of three successive ancient temples, all called Wat Chan, or otherwise known as the Moon Temple. back this is our last destination and uh, we had really a great time here in this beautiful complex we are looking forward to grab a coffee so that's it for today second day in pizza and look beautiful we had a great time enjoying the different beautiful spots here just after the pandemic perfect um, it's not jam-packed with people and we are looking forward to our next destination tomorrow see you in our next vlog Bye. Once again, this is Vinny. For more update and content of my journey, please don't forget to subscribe Fast to Moon Media. Ciao.